Good day, learners! How have you been? Welcome back to our TLE class. I am Mom Denise De La Cruz, your TLE teacher. Join me as we learn a new lesson in 237. Are you ready for another fun and amazing learning? If you are, please ready your notebook, ball pen, and learning module. Before we start, don't forget to click the heart reaction if you understand the lesson and comment your questions if you don't. Let's start! Our learning competency and outcome for this day is convert system of measurement according to recipe requirement. For today's objective, let us first identify the ways to convert system of measurement according to recipe as requirement. Second, follow the formula in converting measurement of ingredients accurately. Lastly, appreciate the importance of conversion of measurements in ingredients. I know that you are all excited for our lesson for today. Let us begin by answering this activity. Choose the letter of the correct answer and comment your answer in the comment box. Number one, what is the first step in measuring dry ingredients? A. Measure, B. Sift, C. Steer, or D. Weigh. Great job! The answer is letter B. Number two, what is the proper way of measuring liquid ingredients like milk in a measuring cup? Letter A. Dip. Letter B, scoop. Letter C, pour. Or letter D, fill. Excellent! The answer is letter C. Number three. What is the proper measuring tool to be used when measuring a small amount of ingredients? Is it A, measuring cup? B, measuring spoon? C, weighing scale? Or D, portion scale. Marvelous! The answer is letter D. Number four. Which of the following is the proper way of measuring dry ingredients? Is it A, shake the dry measuring cup? B, it should be eye level? C, it should be compacted? Or D, it should be level off using a spatula? Great job! The answer is letter D. Lastly, number five. How do you check if brown sugar is accurately measured? Is it A. Sugar can easily fall off when inverted. B. Fill the cup without overflowing. C. It follows the shape of the cup when inverted. Or D. The shape of the cup has nothing to do with it. Very good! The answer is letter C. It seems that you fully understood the lesson last week. For today, we will talk about the conversion of ingredients. Conversion of measurement is one important skill in the kitchen. For us to get the best result in cooking, we need to measure ingredients accurately. In baking, the ratio of ingredients needed to be exact to get the start consistency in baked goods. This is the conversion table of measurements in weight or mass. It shows that to convert ounces to grams, we'll have to multiply the number of the given ounce to 28.439. For example, convert 4 ounces to grams. 4 ounces is equivalent to blank grams. According to our conversion table, 1 ounces is equivalent to 28.349 grams. We are looking for the equivalent value of 4 ounces to grams. What we're going to do is to Multiply 4 by 28.349, what is the answer? Very good. 
very good. The answer is 113.396 grams. Let us try another one. Convert 400 grams to ounce. 400 grams is equivalent to blank ounces. According to our conversion table, 1 gram is equivalent to 0 0.035 ounce. We are looking for the equivalent value of 400 grams to ounces. What we're going to do is to multiply 400 by 0 0.035. What is the answer? Very good! The answer is 14 ounces. Let us try to answer this. 10 pounds of ground pork is needed to prepare a pork guinea What is 10 pounds of ground pork in kilograms? 10 pounds is equivalent to blank kilogram. According to our conversion table, 1 pound is equivalent to 0 0.454 kilograms. We are looking for the equivalent value of pounds. What we're going to do is to multiply 10 by 0 0.454. What is the answer? Very good! The answer is 4.54. This is the conversion table of measurements in measuring dry ingredients. It shows that 1.5 ounce is equivalent to 15 grams, and 50 grams is equivalent to 1 fourth inch, and 1 fourth inch is equivalent to 5 millimeters. 1 ounce is equivalent to 30 grams, and 30 grams is equivalent to 1 half inch, and 1 half inch is equivalent to 1 centimeter. 2 ounces is equivalent to 60 grams, and 60 grams is equivalent to 3 fourth inch, and 3 fourth inch is equivalent to 2 centimeter. 3 ounces is equivalent to 90 grams, and 90 grams is equivalent to 1 inch, and 1 inch is equivalent to 2.5 centimeter. In terms of cup, 1 cup is 4 equivalent to 16 tablespoons, which are also equivalent to 48 spoons. To convert cups to tablespoons, multiply the cup value by 16. For example, to find how many tablespoons are 5 cups of water? Multiply 5 by 16, which makes 5 cups of water is 80 tablespoons. To convert cups to teaspoons, multiply the cup value by 48. For example, to find how many teaspoons are 5 cups of water, you need to multiply 5 by 48 which makes 5 cups of water is 240 teaspoons. Let us try to answer this. Chandler is going to bake brownies and one of the ingredients is cocoa powder. He needs to convert 2 cups to tablespoons. How many tablespoons of cocoa powder are there in 2 cups? 2 cups are equivalent to a black tablespoon. According to our conversion table, one cup is equivalent to 16 tablespoons. We are looking for the equivalent value of two cups. What we will do is to multiply two by 16. What is the answer? Fantastic! The answer is 32 tablespoons. For our activity, let's first have a guessing game. Let's reveal the picture by giving me your choice of numbers. You are allowed to give me at least two numbers. Ready? Let's go! 
Yes, Monica. What are your numbers? One and twelve. What about you, Zoe? Eight and fourteen. Can you guess the name of this character, Phoebe? Correct! He is Cookie Monster. What does Cookie Monster usually eat? Correct! It is a cookie. Can you help Cookie Monster convert the following ingredients for his cookies? One half cup unsalted butter melted, one third cup granulated sugar, one half cup of light brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and one half cup of all purpose flour, one and one half cup chocolate chip, semi milk, or milk. To complete this recipe, we also need one large egg. One half teaspoon baking soda and one half teaspoon salt. I am giving you 30 seconds to convert the following ingredients. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The answer for number one is eight tablespoons. Number two is sixteen teaspoons. Number three is twenty-four teaspoons. Number four is four point nine milliliters. Number five, twenty-four tablespoons. And number six is. 72 teaspoons. Did you get all the correct answers? For those who got 6, click the heart reaction. For those who got 5 to 3, click the care button. And for those who got 2 to 1, click the like button. To check your understanding of our lesson, let us have another activity. Convert the given measurement and fill in the blank to complete the equivalent. See in your answers in the comment box. I will give you another 30 seconds to convert each measurement. 8 cups to tablespoon, 24 kilograms to pounds, 10 ounce to centimeters, 90 grams to inches, and 54 centimeters to inches. Times up. Number one, eight cups is equivalent to 128 tablespoons. Number two, 24 kilograms is equivalent to 52.92 pounds. Number three, 10 ounces is equivalent to 80 centimeters. Number four, 90 grams is equivalent to one inch. Lastly, number 5, 54 centimeters is equivalent to 54 inches. Measurement is a way of finding the size, quantity, 
or amount of something. It can be time, temperature, or weight. These are some of the things to be measured accurately to ensure successful cooking results. May I have a hard reaction if you have understood the lesson for today? Congratulations, learners! Your time and effort in participating in this lesson prove that you are ready in answering the activities in your learning pockets. For your assignment, kindly answer the following activities in your Week 6 TL7 learning module. What's more and assessment. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message your TLE teacher. Surely they will attend to you immediately. Thank you very much for making yourself connected in today's lesson. Again, this is Mom De La Cruz, your TLE teacher, leaving you with a quote by Grace Hopper. One accurate measurement is worth a thousand expert opinion. Keep safe, everyone. See you again in our next Valenzuela Life. Bye!